Hi there, my name is Noshnika. I work on the team uh, that is releasing Corso, which is a free and open source CLI tool to back up your Microsoft 365 data. So I wanted to make a quick video uh, demonstrating setting up the tool. So I'm working off the quick start guide here, um, which is available at docs.corsobackup.io. And that'll be linked down in the notes below this video. So it starts with downloading Corso, which I've already done, and then setting up your access to Microsoft 365. I'm not going to show every step of that process of cons configuring Microsoft 365 through Azure Active Directory. We have a really nice documentation of it here. And over here, I've got my uh, Azure AD settings up with the API permissions that I'll need. So I'm just checking that these are in place. And if I go back and check the docs, that looks correct is what we're expecting to see. And then I'm going to grab a client secret and ID. And so that's one of the several things that we'll need to configure to be able to use the tool. So here we are setting some M values um, for that uh, connection to M365. And then the second piece is we'll want to create a Corso repository. Right now, Corso writes to... AWS S3, so we'll need an S3 bucket set up and we'll need a user that has permission to access that bucket. It's, um, I'm not gonna configure that user here, but if you wanna take a look over here, I have the, um, this is AWS and it's the IAM permissions or it's the policy that's applied to this user and I'm giving them access. Again, my name is Noshnika, so I set up this Corso test Nika bucket uh, with the access that it needs to be able to read and write to that repository. Um, and I will note there's two separate lines here. Sorry, the color contrast is not great. Um, with, hey, you have access to the bucket, and then you also have access slash star to the objects inside. Okay, so we're going to start with our first command, which is just telling the Corso tool to initiate the repo. Okay, that looks good. And that initialized that um, uh, uh, repo within that S3 bucket. After that, we're going to go ahead and create our first backup. So let's go ahead and see if this command works. We've got all the permissions set up correctly. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, and we'll see each of the backups get listed here. I'm not quite sure what the size is on this demo account, so this may take just a moment. And I'm just going to time skip for a moment here while this backup is completing. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, this is looking good. I'm going to make a second video that talks about interacting with this backup and even loading individual records from it. But uh, thank you so much for taking a look.